What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today I'm going to show you a money method which in my opinion it is the only money method that you should be using as of this moment because it is something that can make you a lot of money and it is legit. It's a legit way to make yourself a very good amount of money in Red Dead Online. If you want to see more money methods like this then make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you turn on notifications because I have been doing money methods like this from day one of Red Dead Online. Online. So to begin with, what you want to do is go and head all the way over to Black Belt. Black Belt is located right at the bottom of Rhodes and beside St. Denis. This location, there isn't too much going on down there. There is no incentive to actually go down there apart from the Black Belt Stranger mission. So what you want to do is go over to the Black Belt Stranger mission and just start it. Once you do that, you will be now in a Stranger mission, but you'll still have the free roam element where you can go around and do whatever it is you want to do. The majority of the missions that you get from Black Belt is is to do with going to hold up a stagecoach and then going to kill everyone and then go and take the money and then you have to go and take that to a different location. What I end up doing is in between me going from the Black Bell location all the way to that stagecoach, I will just hunt. I take my time, I've got 15 minutes. I go and hunt any animal that I come across, kill it, store it in my satchel, store it on the back of my horse and then I go and hold up the stagecoach and then go and take that money. At that point, I still do not go to the location to go and drop off this money bag. What I do is carry on hunting and wait for that timer to go down to the last 30 seconds. Once it hits that last 30 seconds, that is when I go and drop off the money and go and complete the mission. At that point, it has taken about 14, maybe 15 minutes of my time of just doing hunting. But from that, what I will get is about 32 or 36 gold nuggets. I'll get 500 XP, mainly because we are getting a 30% bonus for this week in Red Dead Online, and I'll get round about $20 for that mission. And that only took 15 minutes of my time. I've also got a lot of animal parts in my satchel. I've got a few hides on the back of my horse as well. From there, I will then go all the way up to the Aberdeen Pig Farmers. Now, the Aberdeen Pig Farmers is another stranger mission and they give out similar amount of gold, similar amount of money, and also similar amount of XP as the Black Belt. Those two are both brilliant to go and get money, XP, and gold better than the other stranger missions in this area. The only other one that competes with it is Sadie Adler. And if you went all the way up to Sadie Adler, your time's just better spent elsewhere so it's pointless going all the way up to Sadie Adler but the Aberdeen pig farmers are very close to Black Bell and they give out the same amount of money XP and gold and I will do the exact same thing for the Aberdeen pig farmers as what I did with Black Bell those missions are very similar as well what you need to do is go into the mission and it will give you a stagecoach location so what you need to do is go to that stagecoach hold it up kill everyone except for one person there is one person that you need to go and kidnap you need to go and hogtie put them on the back of your horse and then you need to go back Back and take them to the Aberdeen pig farmers. So yet again, going from the Aberdeen pig farmers all the way to the stagecoach, what you do is just carry on hunting. You go and hunt the different animals you come across, kill everything that you see, store it in your satchel, or store it on the back of your horse. This time you cannot put a carcass on the back of your horse because you will need to go and put someone there that you have hogtied. So you can only put hides on the back of your horse. You then go to the stagecoach, hold it up, you then go and kidnap the person, you then hog time and put them on your back of your horse. And that point still do not rush all the way back to the Aberdeen pig farmers to go and hand it in because you will not be maximizing the most amount of XP money and also gold that you can get out of this mission so you just wait you wait for the timer to go down to the last 30 seconds and that is when you go and hand that person in yet again for completing this mission you'll get 32 or 36 gold nuggets you'll get around about 500 XP and you'll get about $20 for the mission with both missions added together you're looking at about 60 to 70 gold nuggets you're looking at about a thousand XP already which has only taken about 30 minutes. You're looking at about $40 for both missions put together and also you also have a lot of hunting stuff that is stored in your satchel and also on the back of your horse. At this point we are still not going back to the butchers to go and sell our stuff because we want to make this a very fluent and seamless route. So what we need to do if we go and check our map you will see that the Black Bell Stranger mission will be greyed out. It normally takes about 30 to 45 minutes for a mission to be available again after you have done it. So what we're going to do is head all the way to this location here. This location here is a fantastic fishing spot and on the way you can actually go past a couple different dynamic events. If a dynamic event pops up for you, definitely go and do that dynamic event because you'll be getting a lot more money and you carry on hunting, you do the exact same thing what you did for the strange missions. You wait for that timer to go down. The difference with a dynamic event is the timer doesn't pop up at the first second. What it does is if you take too long to do a dynamic event, in the last five minutes that is when it will show the timer. So it's the exact 
exact same thing and they take about the exact same time, if you come across a dynamic event, definitely go and do that instead. If no dynamic events pop up for you or they do not trigger once you go past them, that is perfectly fine because we have got a lot of hunting locations around here. Like I said, we will be heading to this location and here you come past quite a few different alligator spots, which every time you come past one of these alligator spots, stop, go and kill all the alligators, go and store what you can on the back of your horse and also go and store what you can in your satchel. There is also a cow farm in Rhodes and you come past this as well. Go and kill all the cows and all the bulls in this cow farm because that will also be extra meat that you'll be storing in your satchel. You then come to this fishing spot, you do a bit of fishing and eventually what will happen is the Black Bell Stranger mission will be available again. At that point, you can then go and do the Black Bell Stranger mission and go straight through this route again. What I do is I don't really have a set time when I go to the butchers. I can go to the butchers whenever I want. I make sure to keep checking on what's in my satchel and whenever I feel like it's necessary, that is when I go to sell everything. You could realistically go and do the Black Bell, the Aberdeen Pig Farmers, go down to this fishing location, on the way go and hunt everything that you come across and then once you get to this fishing location, maybe try and get 10 largemouth bass because those go for $2 each. Once you get a full satchel of them, which will be 10 largemouth bass, you will then get $20. So that is some decent money and then you can go all the way to Rhodes or St. Denis to go and sell your stuff and then go all the way back to Black Bell and then go straight back through this route again. By doing this route, you can get anywhere between $200 to $300 per hour, which is a very good amount of money, especially to try and do something legit like this. We're mixing so many different things in there that we are just constantly making money by doing this route. Like I said, you're getting 60 to 70 gold nuggets for the missions, which is about 30 to 36 gold nuggets per mission. You're getting about 1,000 XP from the missions. That's 500 XP for each mission. Yet again, there is a 30% increase in XP this week, so that also benefits it. You're also getting about $40 for both of the missions, $20 each mission, and then you're getting about 150, maybe 250 for your hunting and fishing. Now, that is the massive variable. The other stuff with the mission, if you do exactly what I say, wait for the last 10 seconds to go and hand in the NPC or go and hand in the money. You are guaranteed to make that money on those missions. The hunting is a massive variable. It depends how good you are at hunting and also the location in which you hunt. If you're going to go to St. Denis and it is daytime, if it's morning, even better, you're going to have a lot of birds. You're going to have so many feathers stored in your satchel, which means you'll definitely be pushing towards that higher end for going to sell all your stuff once you go to the butchers. If you are in, say, the Heartlands or end up in the Heartlands, you have a lot of deers, you have a lot of prolonged bucks, but you're not going to be making as much money because the venison doesn't go for as much as what you would if you was to go and get some of the rare feathers that you can find in St. Denis. It also comes down to how efficient you are as a hunter. If you're using the correct weapons, if it's like one shot kill, you get in headshots, all of that other stuff that will lead to hides being perfect, for you getting the maximum amount of meats and feathers from everything that you're getting. So make sure you're trying to be efficient, take your time with everything that you do. But this, you should be able to go and make 200 to 300 dollars. So far since I've been doing this route, I have not made less than 200 dollars by doing this method per hour, which is a very good amount of money. But anyway guys, if you are trying out this method, leave it in the comments down below of how much money you are making because I am very curious to know. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.